Hey friends, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, first off, I want to congratulate LSU for winning the college football championship. Props to them. Uh, tonight's video is about my resupply and different foods you can buy to send to a trail town or resupply box. Um, I don't plan to send a lot of resupply boxes. I do what's kind of a hybrid. I'm going to send a couple to places where it's really hard to get good stuff. Secondly, I'm going to go in town and when I need to. So the first thing I want to mention though is when you go on like Amazon or anything like that, you have to be really careful. So if you get Mountain House meals like these and number 10 cans, they're great. They're freeze dried. You still want to vacuum seal them and put them together. But when you go on Amazon, you're also going to see these things. These are dehydrated foods. Got to worry a little more about those. And they're not going to work as well on trail, depending what they are. So, first off, be sure you are paying attention to what you are buying. Where I live in Maine, I don't have the option really to go anywhere. Everything's online and things like that. You know, I know what I like to eat. And I always try things once I buy them. Um, if I buy this, I'm going to try it here at home. And I liked it. It was good. But there are some that, you know, aren't going to be as well. Again, this same company, which is fine, has a chili, which I thought about buying. But it's a dehydrated bean in the chili. It's going to take a long time to get that bean hydrated. It's not going to be real happy. But with the freeze dried food, obviously a little water in there, everything's going to be happy. So just be careful what you're buying. Make sure you know what you're buying. Now, I did the other day, I got a uh, vacuum sealer and I did uh, 60 meals earlier which is great that you know 60 dinners you know I don't know what I want to have in June July August but I want to have meals that are easy to get to at different spaces on the trail there are a lot of places on trail where it's really hard or very expensive to buy things and I'll tell you right now there's a book out there it's Yogi's Guide I recommend buying that I bought it already unfortunately things happened to it so I had to buy it again it's coming but it's a great book and it gives you all kinds of information of you know say Kennedy Meadows what they are going to stay, what they're going to take, how long it is. You might have a post office in, we'll say, Bishop. Well, they're only going to keep your stuff for X amount of days. Yogi's Guidebook to the PCT does a great deal for that. It gives you all the information you need to know. So what I plan to do is send supply boxes to several places where it's very hard to either get into town or it's very expensive and you have to have a box. Then again, I am going to send different gear to different places. That again goes to my resupply box. You know, my bear canister, I don't need it till Kennedy Meadows. So, full resupply to Kennedy Meadows. Makes it a little cheaper, and I've got my bear can. I've got a set of food, good to go. There may be some extra clothes in there. You know, when you get way up on trail into Washington, you know, again, I'm going to send a box up there with a different set of shoes, some more food, 
you know, just different things. That's my resupply philosophy. You know, I don't want to do like people always say, and I've had a lot of comments that you need bounce boxes. I don't want to go into town every couple days if I don't have to. If I have food and I'm good to go, I want to push those miles. If my body's hurting, I'm going to go into town. Well, say my body's hurting two days before, you know, Bishop. Or any, you know, I'm just using that as an example. But so now I've gone to town just to relax, not to go back into town, that's too much of a waste to me. So that's why I don't like bounce boxes. You know, I might get on trail and I may see these great hikers that have such a phenomenal idea. Because, you know, I'm an idiot. I'll tell you that that maybe I'll change my point of view. But for right now, that's my point of view. You know, I'm going to keep buying things like these, and I'm going to keep buying things like these. And I'm going to send different boxes to different spots along the way where I feel I need to go and get things, where they're either too expensive or it's too far from trail, you know, Things just don't make sense to do. So, I mean, that's my idea on resupply. You know, like we all have one, it's we all have belly buttons. So, that's just a uh, video for today. I've been sick for about a week. Finally getting a little better. Happy to be awake and getting ready to go to sleep already. But, you guys have a very good day and... Hopefully you'll follow me on trail. Good night.